Donna Emery from Glover Nursery in West Jordan, Utah. Today I'm going to propagate some boxwood with stem cuttings. I'm going to look for terminal growth. That means the stem ends, ends in a bud, not in a cut tip. And I'm going to take some cuttings. This is a small bush, so I'm not going to take really long ones. I have some containers here with uh, just regular organic potting soil. You can use a stem or cutting mix if you like, but I find they root fairly well into just regular potting mix. I'm going to take my little cutting and carefully strip off most of the leaves. I'm going to leave just a few at the top. I have some rooting hormone powder right here, so I'm going to just dip it in and knock it off. I can just use my finger to create a hole and bury that in the pot. The roots are going to come from every leaf junction. This is where you're going to get roots starting at each one of those leaf nodes. So I'm burying several of those. Dip it, shake it off, and poke it in the dirt. For heavier stems, I'm using my snippers because I don't want to damage the leaf nodes too much. Okay, firm the soil around the cuttings. You want to create a nice, comfy atmosphere for these little baby cuttings. You can use a stick or a plant marker to support it. And then I put a piece of plastic or a plastic bag over the top of these cuttings. This acts like a little mini greenhouse. Clear plastic or white plastic is best. If I'm doing this outside, I'll put it in a shady, protected location. I'll anchor the plastic down with a rock or two. Then I'll take a marker and write wintergreen boxwood cuttings taken on this date. And I, then I know what I've got and how long it's been rooting in. After four to eight weeks, uh, there will be some little roots that start to emanate from those leaf joints. I can tug on the on the stem and if it feels solid and solidly rooting in then I know it's ready to transplant. I could transplant these to a larger pot or I could do them directly into my garden. Check this for water several times a week. You don't have to water every day usually because the plastic keeps the moisture in but don't let this get too dry or too soggy. If it's too wet I'll take the plastic off for several hours and then put it back on. If it's too dry just water the plants, let them drain, put the plastic back on. Very soon you will have several new boxwood bushes. I'm Donna Emery from Glover Nursery.